Yo, what's up guys? You've got Lightning here coming back at you with another gameplay. This is, game is on my main account. It's in like low plate at the moment. We're versing, if you're looking for look, Heimerdinger. Uh, now I've had a lot of troubles with the recent uh, changes to Heimerdinger, the, the new reworked Heimerdinger. He seems to just shit on everyone with his, um, the way he works now. If he has his turrets up and then uh, if he hits you with his E or his W, um, all the turrets use their laser attack on you. And it, it has so much burst, so you can't really fight him at all really i mean if he if he lands that that e on you you're just basically done so man so uh this game i actually do quite well um i didn't record it so i'm just going over it as a gameplay as you know i thought it was i thought it'd be a pretty good game to go over um like post post game so um i just want to see how i actually came ahead in this lane because i thought i thought i had you know i've versed a couple of heimerdingers before i lost um, been cheese and and I just sort of wanted to go over this one, so I I wasn't too sure how I was going to go about the lane. I just I knew he was going to shove me in. Uh, if we look at their team, uh, I was looking at all this before the game started. They have like Heimerdinger, Inivia, Lulu, and they have the Jackson Lucian. So they're they're a lot of uh, AP, a lot of bursty damage. So you'll see what items I bought and how I how I went about getting around that. Like what I thought was the best sort of options. So. Anyway, right now we just hit level two. I'm just tr I'm just getting away with what I know I can, um, getting all the CS that I can. Unfortunately, I I I um, cut it down, so he sort of forced me out there. But at least I got a ward down. Even though I'm pretty sure that the jungler won't come and gang me. It's Jax, so normally a Jax will farm up for a while. So yeah, I wasn't too worried because he's pushing me in. So why would Jax come here, right? He's probably going to go to to move, look at Zerath. He's pushed up. Like, really, really far. So I'm just getting all the CS I can. What's my CS count? Okay, so I'm on 12, he's on 16, but I've got, you know, 6 CS here to get. So I think the important thing in this matchup, if you're versing, if you're versing a Heimbidinger, right, just start Doran Shield. Doran Shield's so broken, even though... Okay, so this is patch uh, 7 point... Is it 12? They raised the cost of 50, so you only get one pot to start with, right? So even though they've done that, Doran, Doran's shield is still like really, really, really strong, especially against a champion like Heimerdinger that's going to try and poke you down and you know with turrets and challenge all your CS you're trying to get everything like that, right? So it's a really good item to get versus Heimerdinger. So that's why I got it instead of uh, corrupting potion. And I think I think it really pays off. It allows me to just farm up enough CS to get my first item, um, and then come back to lane with, with a strong first first buy, rather than backing early to get say. Um, a ruby crystal or something like that. So I managed to stay in lane here and farm quite well. Uh, you know, matching his CS, um, we're CSing pretty well. Kate CSing pretty well, so that's good. And I'm just getting all the CS I can. I'm not really worried about what's going on the map. I know mid just died, but that's just you know ganks happen. You know, Master Yi is generally a farming uh, farming early champion, so it's it's expected that you know you you're not really expecting to get a gank at all, <laughs> unfortunately, but. Um, that's just how it is. Uh, I know I won't get ganked by Jax. He can't really, he can't really come top and do anything here. So I'm just worried about getting past this lane because I know I outscale the shit out of Hammerdinger. If I if I don't fuck this lane up and fuck up the matchup, I can I can outscale him and just challenge him. See, he, I forgot to mention he's running exhaust too. Oh, you can't see the. Oh, you see up top left. He's running exhaust instead of teleport. So they don't even have a single teleport, right? And then he's running ghost and flash. So I can go for a split push build or I can get ahead and roam. Um, I know I have options, so I'm not going to try and force anything on the Heimerdinger until I know I can kill him. See, so we just check out the CS. See, I'm out CSing him already. See, with all his turrets pushing, he's not auto-attacking properly to get all the CS. So I'm just using my Q to farm. Eventually, I will run out of mana, obviously, um, with the way I'm farming, but I'm just trying to guarantee I get the CS and then get out. I'm not really trying to fight him. See, he's taken, he's taken Min Minion Aggro, whereas I, I'm just regening with my door and shield constantly, so that's good. I get another wave, we'll just press tab, see where we're at. See, I'm still CSing him. Almost a wave ahead. That's really good. Got a lows, nice. And go for a nice back. See, I'm out of mana, so it's a good time to back right now. Um, good opportunity to get a Sheen. I think I get a Sheen. Let's have a look. Yeah, so I get a Sheen up front, which is really good, um, and boots, so it gives me a bit of extra movement speed to try and uh, dodge things and get away from his turrets. 
and the sheen uh with your sheen and your q i think it's a kill on his turret so i think you have to put another point in your q i'm not entirely sure but eventually i do get to a point where i can one hit his turrets and that that really gives me the edge in the lane because uh, i can start as soon as he starts placing his turrets he can only hold three so if he places three and i kill them as fast as i can like he's placed all his tiles right now. He may he may have one left in his in his inventory. But if I if I'm able to kill them, then he's got he's got nothing. He's only got his Q and his uh sorry, his W and his E. See right here, I missed that CS. See I, so I killed his tower instantly. I go for an all in here to try and sort of um get as much damage as I could. I actually made a mistake here. I wanna go back, because I wanna just point out what I did wrong. Because this is what I look for. I look for what I did wrong. I'll play it in half speed actually. So I go for the E right. What I should have done is get my ult to go through his turret here and then Q that when he went to E. But I Q'd him and then he flashed. So I could have saved my flash and Q'd him if that makes sense. I could have put my ult through his turret then Q'd to kill his turret get the reset. Get more to stick to the Heimerdinger. And then when he flashed over this direction that's when I could have, um, you know, queued after him instead of flashed after him. So I have a slight mis misplay there, but you know, um, you know, still, still one of the best plays I could have made. And he wasted his, his exhaust as well. So that was, you know, like top-notch play, except for the small, the small misplay. Uh, it's just a mechanic, mechanical error, you know, where I misplayed. And unfortunately here, uh, I didn't see the Anivia room. And then unfortunately, when I went to dodge down, uh, Jax was right there. So. Uh, I overstayed. Uh, I didn't see any pings on the map. Uh, yeah, there wasn't any pings, and I wasn't really looking at the minimap. I was just, what I was trying to do was push the lane up so it would bounce back. And since Hamadinga has no TP, um, I would have been at a huge advantage there. Um, that's why I really wanted to push that out. But you know, fortunately, the, the mid roamed, and he's really strong. You know, he's he's a uh, He's three and zero, and he's got mage eyes, so he's he's huge, and you'll see like he snowballs quite hard. Uh, the Xerath gets kind of shit on. I think he I think he pushes up really far with his you know his wave clear pre six is still pretty good with his Q, uh, and then Jax just comes and ganks him like every time. And then in the game when I was playing, I was a little bit worried because Xerath was complaining that Master Yi was just farming and only farming, not giving any of the blues. Uh, and he got a bit he got a bit upset, but. That's all right. I tried to do what I could. I knew my bot lane was winning too, so I think I think we weren't in such a bad spot. It was just the mid was sort of failing a bit, and I know for a fact we're going to outscale. And we'll see what I did here. I tried to dodge his E, but I failed that. So I sort of I'll oh, we'll go through that again actually. So I sort of miscalculate the damage potential I have, right? So I go to get a Q reset, which I do get. Stun him, right? Get my ult through the tower. And I, I got stunned, man. So I got stunned. And then I queued straight into him to get the extra damage off. And then... Yeah, he gets a bit of extra damage off on me. So it wasn't really a good trade, but I did get his ult, which is what I care about. But now I'm in, I'm in a little bit of a bad spot right now. I was a little bit worried because I wasn't sure where mid was. Or all the jungler jacks. So I was kind of worried. I knew he couldn't really kill me under tower. Not unless he had, like, you know, got some turrets down and got a good E. But I was, I was feeling pretty safe apart from the, the mid and the, and the jungler. But then I see them bot. As soon as I see them bot, I know I'm sweet. I can just keep farming these. Because I know with my, you know, with my CSing, I'm going to gain health through my, through my uh, W. So see how I um, take care of that turret really quickly. One thing with the turrets, if they fire their laser, if you just um, dodge like up or down, like perpendicular sort of thing, it, it, it won't hit you. Uh, but what I did then is I sort of ran back and diagonal, it didn't really work. But if you run straight, like up or down, perpendicular to where the laser's firing, you'll dodge it really easily. It's like a, it's like an Alawi um, tentacle. Really easy to dodge if you just dodge up or down. So here, you know, I'm sitting in like, I can see Yi's coming. So I know that it's going to be up to me to sort of engage here, and then and then back off when Heimerdinger sort of goes into uses his things on me. So I get a good Q reset, get a bit of a bait where I'm with some damage. And then just let you finish it off. I don't need to finish that kill off. See, because I've got a little bit of magic resist already. I know that I can't really die. But I didn't get my Q reset that I was hoping to get. I was trying to dodge a bit of damage, but I didn't. Well, I should have waited for the Sheen proc to get a Q reset on a second tower. But I didn't. 
this time I ward my bush to to get the free um, push. If I look quickly, yeah. See, Jax is it is blue now. Jax is it is blue, but no one's gonna come. So I get a free push out here, which is good. Now I'm just pushing that up. I'll actually just fast forward a bit. You guys don't want to see this. Uh, you know, just pushing a tower and walking back to lane sort of shit. So. I'll just go hot, double speed. So I get a I get a hex drinker here. Uh, reason for the hex drinker is just because they had an Anivia and Jax also since Jax is building uh he's not building it yet but I think he builds sated uh whatever you call it uh shit what's it called now blood razor I think he builds that which does like magic damage on hit. So the people that are gonna come to my lane generally have quite a bit of magic damage. So the hex drinker is gonna play really well here. I actually made a mistake here. When I went in for this, you'll see it as soon as I show you. Wait for it. Look at this minion here. Yeah, I didn't get the Q reset, man. So I went for the all in. I was sure I was going to get this guy. I didn't realize that my Q didn't get the reset. And what I was going to do here is Q to this and then Q back to the this tower and then and then go for him to try and wait out the exhaust, but my plan just failed completely. I, I miscalculated the, the damage on that minion with my, my Q reset, and I got his exhaust and his ult, which is, I feel like getting his ult is really worth, uh, even if I have to use mine, because I get his exhaust as well, so it's a really good trade for me. And at this point, um, you know, I feel like I can, I can out damage him quite hard. And right now, I don't know where he is. I think he backed. Yeah, he did back. And I wasn't sure if he was sitting in the bush, because I thought he might be able to um, get a kill on me. So I was sort of being a bit careful until I checked the bush. I face-checked the bush like a noob. But now I just want to push the shit out of this tower. Just try and um, push the CS to the tower. Since he's got no TP, I'm trying to... And, I, and I'm out-damaging him, right? Like, I'm killing this guy, you know, I'm 1-1-1. One, one and, one. Um, and, you know, we're getting there. I just want to try and push the CS to the tower all the time. Get some pressure on it really hard. So what I buy here. Uh, I think since oh, since we got the tower bot, there that gave me my phage. So now I've got my my sheen and my phage and my hex drinker. So you know I'm, I got the health, the extra damage, and the um, resistance. So that's really good. Uh, going back to the lane. I was trying to look for plays around the map, but I, I didn't really feel like I could make any just because of the pushing pressure of Heimerdinger. Um, like, you know, he's already pushed back to my tower. He got, you know, almost half of my tower damage. I, I was looking at Dragon because my team's getting Dragon, but see, I don't think they can contest. No, they're not going to contest. So it's not really anything to worry about, but... But I was still looking just, just in case their team makes a dive because we didn't really have any vision, so... Now Heimerdinger made the be the worst mistake of his life here. He used his E on the friggin' minions, right? And then, as soon as he does that, I go in. Now I've got my Q, reset on the minion, reset on his tower. There we go. See, he made the worst mistake by using his E on the minions. As soon as he did that, I just went in, without hesitating. See, I'll, I'll go back even. At least if you have a Heimerdinger or Aurelia matchup, you can see how this matchup plays out, and how, how the fights play out. See, does he use it? Right there, he uses it, right? So I go on straight away, on his tower with my WQ combo. Ult him. Still ulting. I think I... I get the Q reset on his tower again. He hasn't used his E again yet, obviously, because he used it before, right? So I, I pretend to back off. Q back in. Get the stun on him here. And then I Q'd and he... I, I thought I was going to kill him with that, but then he flashed, and then he goes to throw his E, then I flash after him to dodge it. So, still played it pretty well. I could, I could have tried to get another auto off, but uh, I wouldn't have wanted him to stun me and then flash away. Um, there, might, there may have been a small, a really small chance that I don't get that kill. But nevertheless, still got it. Uh, Jax goes to uh, answer the lane, which is good. Brings him top, which means my team can pressure that mid. Now Yi's pretty, I think Yi's pretty strong at this point. Yeah, he's like he's farming pretty hard, you know. Even though Anivia's, Anivia's, you know, got the Ninja Tabi going on and she's got 12 stacks on her mid eyes. She hasn't died yet, you know. So she's the biggest threat. That's why I'm really, like, putting emphasis on magic resist here. Like, with the Hex Drinker now, the Merc Treads, before my Triforce. I think, I think with this buy, I could have got my Triforce. No, I could have got my Stinger, but I got the Merc Treads instead. Because I just wanted to survive, right? So, 
now that I'm ahead, if I keep building like closer to my Triforce, like, that's cool. But but having the survivability of the Merc Treads is also really, really good. Like Look at their team, right? They've got High Mininger has a stun, Anivia has a stun, Jax has a stun, Lucian not so much, but um, you know, Lulu has shitloads of CC, annoying CC. So Merc Treads is, is obviously the best option. And, and Lucian sort of falls off late game with his damage in, in the sense that... Uh, you know he has to get in close, so we can. He's not really going to be the one auto attack. Well, he will be the one auto attacking me, but I think it's still in this in this situation. Merc trades outweighs Ninja Tabi, and I'm just focusing on winning the one v one with Heimerdinger because I know he. I know if he if I beat him now, he's just going to be useless because he falls off. He does fall off like later in the game when people get a bit tankier. They have resistances, and Heimerdinger is just a squishy mage with his onyas, uh, you know, he, he, he becomes a bit more susceptible to, to ganks and 2v1s and that sort of thing, or even 1v1s really. So I'm just putting emphasis on winning this lane. Because I can see my team's not doing uh, well, yeah, too bad, but I know we aren't scale them, you know, they have Anivia and Jax, but, you know. There we go. You picks up that kill. You notice how when, when Yi comes, I'm not Desperate for the kill, I'm not flashing after kills or, you know, greedy. I'm just trying to get the damage on the Heimerdinger, make him use all of his cooldowns, and then get as much damage on him, get my slow on him. What I could have done better there was ult through the minion, Q reset to the minion, then try and stun the Heimerdinger uh, and save my Q reset, but I but I just went straight for him to get the CC on him and make him blow all his cooldowns. So again, I guess that's a slight misplay, like I could have done a bit better. But still got the same result. We got the tower, we got the Heimerdinger. So it's still it's still good, right? So that gives me my stinger, I think. Yeah, so we're still cl we're close to Triforce. We're 16 minutes, 16 and a half minutes into the game. Uh, but I do have to remember, uh, I do have a Hex Drinker on top of that. So I'm going pretty good with items. Now Heimerdinger went for the uh, Haunting Guys instead of going for his Zonyas. So uh, that's kind of good for me. Because if he doesn't have his Zonyas, then he can't you know, be immune to the... Uh, the damage I'm trying to put in him, and he can do free damage on me, so I think he made a mistake there. I, I feel like he should have gone for the Zonyas or, or something, because he can just push lane and then, and then you know, sort of safely be under his or not anymore, because he's lost his tower. Uh, I'm at the point now where I can one-hit the, the back minions here. I one-hit the back minion with my QW combo. Miss a couple, uh, cancel a couple autos there, but uh, that's alright. Get the free kill on Lucian. So now I'm thinking, shit, I'm just going to go split push this lane. Go look at my team over here. Jax is trying to engage. But he fucks that up. Kate gets hit by that bot, man. Look at that damage, man. Just from one little combo. And she dies, man. So I'm just trying to, like, go hard with the with the split pushing. Trying to get a tower. At least trying to answer, like, have give them something that they need to answer. So if I look, is someone coming down for me? No one's coming down for me. So I'm, I'm, I could have probably got this tower, actually, but... I wanted to back, get my Triforce, and then TP back to top, which is what, should, which is what I do. Because I don't want to give Heimerdinger any gold, or any towers. If I can keep this tower up for as long as possible, and it comes a situation where he's top and I'm bot, and I don't have TP, you know, at least he's got to, he's still got to get through this tower, if he wants to, if he wants to push, right? So, I try and keep it up as long as possible. Uh, I did blow my TP, I suppose, but I think, I think it was worth in this, in this case. Just because I want to really pressure the map. I don't want to give them any op any holes to exploit, you know. And my team does pretty well at the, this point, I think. They get... Yeah, Yi goes in and gets to Lulu, and she's already ulted. And then Zeros ulting. Kate ults. They just, they just pin down that Nivea man and fuck her up. So that was good. Jax isn't going to get her. And then I'm top C. I'm just going for the Heimerdinger. He used his stun already. Got lots of damage on him. He, I got his flash as well, right? So I should have... Uh, I didn't ping it, but I should have, but... Um, I, I was just going to keep pressuring this top tower. Yi uh, used the Rift Herald, so my team's got like shitloads of pressure mid right, so I'm just going to keep getting this. Uh, I know they don't need my help to push down the tower, they have a Master Yi after all, right? So they're going to get the tower quite fast with Rift Herald, Master Yi, etc. So I just try and pressure this tower. Therefore, if they come back, uh, if they come back from their base, you know, someone still needs to answer this top tower. Although I'm pinging my team back, right? And they overstay. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens here. They're all so low, right? Like, they should just leave this and back. And then Zillion... I oh, get to Zolo. 
but Innovia gets the, the good wall, you know, and they all just die. And I wasn't going to come in here and help. I pinged them back because it was, it was a bad call, right? She kills him here. I chuck a ward over. And I knew I had to go. So I, I stayed I stayed a while. Um, but long enough for, you know, my other two teammates, Zillion and Master Yu, to get the dragon. Because they, they come top and chase the um, Xerath down. You know, they kill Kate. And, so, but, you know... Um, I got a good, I got some good damage on that top tower. We didn't quite get the mid nexus turret, which is, ah, uh, sorry, inhib turret. Almost got it. So that's that's like almost open inhib, right? So we can take advantage of that and just try and work towards that as an objective. We see the items again. Uh, so I've gone for the Titanic Hydra. I've got the tier mat so far. This is purely, yeah, you know, Titanic Hydra is such a good item because your health scales with magic resist, right, or any resist. So the more health I have. I'll say if I've got a you know a hundred magic resist, if I've got a, you know an extra thousand health, that's an extra thousand health with a hundred magic resist sort of thing, you know. So I've got since I got the hex drinker, you know, I want to go for the TM at get that extra health, just so I can be a bit more. Uh, it gives me a lot of survivability, right? So even if I go and fight this Heimerdinger to try and split push, or whether I'm diving into a Nivea, you know, trying to be a frontline for my team, it's all it's all it all helps. And again, I I go to answer the top the top push from Heimerdinger. I don't want to give him any space to push, so anytime he's pushing top, I'm going to answer it. They saw me. I know they saw me already, but they ping me out. And then I check the bush and just stick top. I want a team fight with my team, but at the same time, I don't want to give Heimerdinger any room to breathe, any any opportunity to get any gold off us, right? So maybe, maybe this game, I overestimated how strong he was at this point in the game. Uh, what's he got? He doesn't have a single item built at 21 minutes, but he's got a bunch of shit built, right? Like the Tabis, the almost Sonyas, and the half a half a Lee injuries, right? So I think at this point, since I've got a Triforce, Hex Drinker, Tiamat, you know, and my Merc Treads, I'm overestimating what he can do in the game. He's basically useless at the moment. And, you know, my team goes down here. I don't really know what the hell was going on here. But how do you get into their jungle? I'm not sure how this works, but... Um, Kate died in the jungle to Nivea. And I'm still pushing this. Jax tries to 1v1 me. I want to go back on that, actually. So I'm getting this tower. Like, all that shit's going down bot, and I'm like, okay, I'll get a tower. I try and dodge the Counter-Strike, which I do, but I don't have a Q now. But I've, since I put some few, a few points in it, I've maxed it now, right? I was able to get a good cooldown. And my Hex Drinker, man, like, saved me so bad. So that's really good. So I, I, I bought two of them top, killed their jungler, bought their shitty Heimerdinger top, and I'm st I'm still applying pressure, you know, like I'm going to back soon, I'm not going to engage on this guy, I'm just going to clear this and then back. No reason for me to stay here. Uh, I think I might almost have my tier man actually. Do I? We'll find out when I back. Oh, so that's how you do it. Plus or minus. Alright, oh, okay, I found a quick key for uh, speeding up and slowing down. I've never used it. Um, I should know that already, though. Okay, so what do I buy here? Yeah, I get my team at uh, my Titanic Hydra. So that's huge, right? It's, it's 23 minutes into the game. I've got my Triforce, my Titanic, and my Hex Drink, and my Victories. So I TP in so just to see what I can do. Uh, I try and pressure the Jackson mid lane. I want to try and. I don't want to give him an opportunity to um, push the push mid lane. Because then it gives us one less lane that we can pressure, right? So, use my Titanic to try and clear this wave the best I can. At least, uh, you know, I think two minions uh, got to the, or one minion got to the mid lane, so it's still going to push. Screwed up there by queuing too early. But I flashed on him to try and um, really just get that uh, CC and damage on him, and we got him. And then since I'm so strong with my with my Titanic Hydra, with your Titanic Hydra and your QW unit, look how much damage that does. We'll go back. Because, do you see how I did like almost half of that Lucian's health? So look at what he's got. That is so much damage. One more time, one more time. Where's Lucian? Where's Lucian? Okay, so Lucian's got... 740 health. 750... Seven. So that's like 750 damage right there on an 80 carry. You know, 23 minutes into the game. That's huge, you know? And that's your that's that's your W active, your Titanic Hydra active, and your Q. With the Sheen proc, you know, it's huge damage. Like it's almost eight hundred damage at twenty three minutes on an eighty carry. Lulu doesn't have time to, you know, shield or, you know, CC me 
before I, you know, told you to just like one shot that guy. So yeah, you know how you know how I can just dive on the you know the once fed Anivia, who was five and zero, oh, and again on Heimerdinger they they can't really kill me, which is really good for me. So I get in front of the Zillion to try and get a stun on Heimerdinger, just as long as the Zillion doesn't die, and just be the front line. Since I'm so tanky now, right? So the the Hicks drinker Mick trades with the Titanic is really paying off. So, and I can even get my Q off and dive. Like Lulu can't possibly. It's impossible for Lulu to polymorph me before my. Q hits my target, right? So that's really good for me. I get Zillion ulted here, which is good. And then just uh, get a Q reset there. I'm just sort of walking around with my team at the moment, just trying to keep the pressure up. Use my ult here just for pressure. Get a little bit of healing. And, uh, I'm not sure if Anivia dies here. Okay, she does die. And then we're free to just hit the turrets. You know, so that was that was quite a good game. It was, it was one of my first times. Uh, I guess I'll verse the reworked Hummerding about three times. The first two times I got wrecked, he he stole my uh, jungle's blue buff because I didn't I didn't uh, like you know guard it in the first minute of the game. So he used his first three towers on that, and then he came to lane with uh, level two, I'm oh, not almost level two uh, with a blue buff and like cheesed the shit out of me, I, and I lost that quite hard. So now this is like the rematch. I versed another Heimerdinger. And I know how to play the lane a, a bit more this time. Like I really need to just dodge that, dodge the E, um, with the Q resets. That's the key to this lane, right? So, the first few levels farm up with that Doran's shield, um, until you run out of mana. Try and get your shield on your first back, and then you can sort of fight him. And then you want to stun him, get a few autos, and then get ready for his stun. He's gonna throw his stun out. Then you want to get another Q reset off his other tower if you can. Uh, but once you dodge that stun, it's pretty much GG. If he doesn't get, the, if he doesn't hit the stun. Um, you basically win the 1v1. And I think that's the key to this matchup. Especially how this Heimerdinger, you know, he took he took exhaust thinking he was going to shit on me. And not let me engage on him. But I think since we farmed well in the top lane, like, what's my farm? What's my farm? So 230 farm in 25 minutes, that's really good. It's like 9 a minute. So, um, because I was farming so well, you know, I'm, uh, you know, like 70 CS on the Heimerdinger. And, you know, like all this kills and assist gold. So that's, all those little things just put me ahead not being too greedy for the kills, not trying to fight them all the time. And that just put me ahead enough, uh, you know, to get to get so much ahead that I could just help my team and carry the game. And I, I don't think I carried as such. Like, um, Anivia was owning early, Xerath was getting wrecked, uh, Bot wasn't doing too bad. Like, they they were doing well in CS, got first tower, that sort of thing. Um, and Yi sort of spent most of his time farming uh, that's a funny Yi build, I'm pretty sure. I don't really see that very often, Death Dance with Guin I, 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 I normally see like a Bork into um, shit, whatever else Yi's build these days. But uh, So that ended up working, I suppose. But um, yeah, and then we pulled it off. And I just wanted to sort of show everyone this video um, because I've been having trouble with the reworked Heimerdinger and I was finally able to have a good game versus the reworked Heimerdinger. So anyway, that's the end of the video, guys. If you've got any questions about Heimerdinger or this video at all um let me know in the comments uh, if you liked it uh drop a like uh if you want to see some more content like this uh give me a subscribe hope you guys have a good day and i'll catch you guys in the next video yeah, yeah.